Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Wendy Devereaux here. So I wanted to do a blue version of my teal painting, uh, which I've received awesome feedback, you guys. Thank you so much uh, for all your comments. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to do a little bit different application today with the crushed mirror glass. So if you'd like to see how I did that, then please keep watching. Okay, you guys, so I have all my paints and glitter and stuff. Uh, all my little blue paints are lined up like little soldiers. I'm just going to go through this really, really quickly. Um, if you want to achieve the exact blue that I have on my canvas, um, and I will leave a complete list in my description box below, so today I'm going to use the navy blue, a sky blue, this one is a midnight blue, and then the last two are metallic. The one is sapphire, and this one is really, really pretty. It is a blue ice pearl. And because of the two metallics, I am not going to coat uh, put a coat of Mod Podge on my blue part for sure. I may put some on my gray and white at the top. And if I do, I am going to be using a matte finish. And of course my black and white to make my gray, my liquid glass to adhere my crushed glass. Um, finally, Michaels uh, got the blue crushed glass in. And this glitter and this glitter is from the dollar store. I absolutely love the color of this. And this is a Martha Stewart super fine glitter. Uh, I can't see the name on it because that label is worn off pretty good, but it's really, really pretty. And this all started because, just quickly, um, in the fall, I started a huge blue canvas for my living room and I ran out of blue crushed glass so it's been sitting in my uh in my studio for quite a while now and I needed to add more crushed glass to it so okay you guys um oh and I'm going to be using a 18 by 24 inch canvas like I usually do okay so same as my turquoise painting that I did um, and if you haven't seen that check it out it's one of my uh, it's actually my first video that I did on YouTube and uh, for this one I'm going to uh, do more blue and less gray and white up top so I have my pencil mark straight that helps me maintain a nice uh, balance right everything will be even and also I like to just water I like to just squirt my canvas a little bit with water um, I don't like starting on a dry canvas and this time rather than starting with the gray like I did in my turquoise I'm going to be starting with the blue so we're going to be using the navy blue and just make my um, straight line so that it'll help guide me. It helps me. It helps me to maintain um, an even or a, a straight line when I'm brushing it. And rather than the white like I did with the turquoise, uh, this sky blue is a very light blue. So this is going to um, take the place of white. I might add a little bit of white now that I'm looking at this. Okay. 
And this is the Midnight Blue. This one is the Sapphire Metallic. I love this color. And this is the Blue Ice Pearl. This has a really, really cool sheen to it. And you know what? I think I'm just going to add, uh, this is uh, white in a small squeeze bottle. I've been uh, been working on a different project, but this is just the acrylic white from um, Walmart. My husband asked me the other day why I wouldn't just do this on the whole canvas. And in my opinion, with the gray and white or a lighter color, whatever, is used, um, it kind of gives your eye a rest from all the from all the main color at the bottom. Okay, and I'm just gonna spray my um, my brush here a little bit, give it a little damp. And okay, you guys, just like before, nice straight brush strokes. up my gray. I already have a little bit of water, uh, white. I already have a little bit of white paint in this cup. We're going to mix up. Mix up my gray. Just going to add a little bit of black because I don't think I want, because this blue is so dark, uh, I would much rather have uh, a light gray in there than um, too dark. And then that'll give, give the eye a rest when you're looking at the painting. I'm just going to Stay away from 
this here. I don't want any blue to come up into my gray and white. And that area is going to be so full of glitter and crushed glass. You're never going to be able to see that anyway. So, okay, here's my white going in between my gray. And, um, what the heck? Just like before, I'm just going to add. I got, I have a little bit of this left in uh, this, um, bottle oh dear i'm gonna end up with a lot of paint again but that's okay move the brush up This technique, you guys, is so simple. It really is. I don't know if you can see the metallic blues that I put in there. This part I am not going to seal, but I am going to seal the gray up here because I don't like that finish on it. It's really flat. So I also don't want to use a glossy on this one. So I'm going to use the matte Mod Podge. And I'm just going to Just put a little strip like that. And again, <clears throat> a nice, thin, even coat. There. So we'll let that dry and then I'll come back and do the glitter and crush glass. Okay guys, so my Mod Podge is all dry and now we are going to add our bling. So just like my teal slash turquoise, I'm just going to add just a little bit of liquid glass in this cup and we're going to add some glitter because we are going to do our sides first. Add a little bit of the blue, the fine Martha Stewart blue and some of this chunky. stick that is full of gold stuff. I'm just going to stir that up. That will be plenty. And, okay. and again, we're just going to concentrate on that part where the two colors Meet. And we're just like so. I've got a bucket here that I can. Okay, now I want to try and do a little bit different application here with my crushed glass. I'm not going to bother pouring this into a cup, you guys. I'm just going to...
Here's some like so. Kinda let it meander a little bit. Not quite straight across, but sort of dipping it in areas and bringing it up. And I am going to use a brush this time, the same one that I just applied. The glitter to the sides. And just, I don't want an icicle effect this time. I kind of want it to sort of meander a little bit along the center there. What I'm going to do here is Just little dots. Kind of forming a pattern for myself. Then I'm just going to add, this is going to be, like this is definitely a little bit longer to do, but if you want this look, then it's going to take you a little bit longer to do. some glitter in the center part here. And I don't want to knock what I just placed up there, so it's not going to work. It's going to take way too long. I'm going to go along here like this for a second and then I'll push, we'll push some of that um, glass around once I get it applied like this. If you guys really like the blue crushed glass, I hope I hope you can get it in your area. I think you, I'm I'm pretty sure you can order it off of Amazon, um, or even Michaels online. I just I go to Michaels quite often, um, and I would just go check to see if it was in. Like I said, it. It, um, it hadn't been in since uh, November, um, so I'm just kind of moving. I 
was really pleased uh, with this with this blue color from the dollar store on my large blue one so um, I just know I'm gonna like it on this little guy it's the mini me version <laughs> bring you back when this is all dry and like my turquoise uh, slash teal I am going to take uh, a piece of white paper and squish that down um, so it adheres as much as possible uh, when it's about oh, 30 45 minutes in when it's uh, kind of gooey okay we will see you in a little bit Okay, everybody, let's brush this off. Let's see what we, we have. my vacuum cleaner to this and then I will hang it up and let you guys see it okay you guys here's the finished look that blue is so rich all of the blues that I used in that for the color combination oh wow like, look at the metallic colors in that. And that's why I didn't want to put a coat of Mod Podge on there because I would have lost that sheen. Very stunning. And I really like the way the crushed glass is on this one. I made, um, that little bit of a wavy in the middle. And then I tried to achieve, and I think I did, um, almost like I threw the glass on there and it just fell where it naturally would have. I may find that I might add a little bit more, but right now I'm very, very pleased with that. The blue crushed glass is one of my favorite. It just, it has so much shine to it. And then I added a couple of little pieces like that one where, oops, focus, where um, you can see the cracks in it. I think that is such a cool look. And that blue glitter color from the dollar store is just fantastic. It's like a royal blue. Yeah, very happy with this. So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell and you will be notified when I upload all my future videos. And as always, you guys, I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch. God bless, and I hope to see you again.